Vern Kyle here. In the upcoming video, we are measuring 63 millimeter and preparing for asphalt. In the city of Edmonton, this 63 millimeter recycled concrete is becoming very popular as base. The main issue with this material from a greater operator's point of view is segregation. All the fines fall through the 63 and you end up with the top looking like popcorn. When I am working with 63, I collaborate with the water truck to keep it damp. And if you are doing small adjustments, use your back blade. If dry 63 starts to tumble in front of the grater blade, you will end up with popcorn. In the upcoming video, the gutters are already on grade and one quarter crown was measured to grade before I turned on the camera. This footage is on board and the camera is attached to my hard hat. It's going to be a long one, so I hope you watch to the end. Uh, quarter crown 
and uh, that way you cut both directions on it and that is so important it's so important to cut both directions on it great right again it worked, this road worked out pretty good I just I roughed it in at, at uh, four or five percent of my slope meter and that's basically what it's coming great at here's another cut of four this will be this will work out okay by the time we uh, make one more pass on it, it'll be great. There's a cut of one. I like it when these guys use string and rather than bony rods. Because the string is just more accurate. There is a cut of one. cut a three I looked over at the CB because that's when I cross past that CB I know I know that's where the cut of three is so it's important to do that uh, just uh, mentally give yourself a marker on the side of the on the side of the street that is a cut of two Here I'm coming up to my cut of three, and the cut of three is right at the CV. There it is. Now I'm coming up to a cut of two, and that is a cut of one. Just 
piece of material off behind my blade right now. And I am bringing it onto this quarter crown. So make sure you don't, if you're doing this, just make sure you don't mess up your cutter. Backblading it in, it kind of uh, when you backblade it, it almost packs it a little bit because it, it kind of forces it under your blade. Oh, there's still a fill of two there. So the fill of two is right at that sign. I can see a sign on the side of the road. I'm going to say the fill of two is at that sign. Maybe this will be a little bit of a cut. Yes, cut it too. Rob, I'm just going to drag that cut back into this pillow tube here. Also a high point. 
damage. I don't know if you can notice it on camera, but uh, what he just measured there was a high point. Great. When I'm, when I'm going back, when, when we're going back on this quarter crown, I'm just grazing, literally just tic, kind of tickling the quarter crown all the way back. Great. It's so that it uh, it takes out the little ripples in it and makes it more uniform. It's so important to do that. And it won't really change the grade because you're, you're really cutting nothing off. You're just tickling it. Great. That was a cut of two. If you remember on the way back, this was a cut of two that we're just passing through here. It's great now. Great. I think that was a cut of three on the way through. I'm not really cutting anything. I'm just just tickling it, grooming it, and it's allowing the grater to actually the wheelbase of the grater to do its job. There is a cut of one at the hydrant. At the hydrant, there's a cut of one.
paint rod that looks good uh, again I'll just knock your wind rod down a little bit so it doesn't interrupt your strength and then uh, I guess we're ready to, to measure up the uh, well I wonder what we should do maybe I should yeah Jesse Jesse I'm gonna make you just a little windrow for the buggy okay I'm gonna guess the quarter uh, guess the crown okay
little bit just to, just to smear this into the crown a little bit. There's the mouth to a little bunch of filling. Well, let's measure it and see what happens. This uh, might be a little bit low, and if it is, I'll just ta I'll just bring some up from the end there, smear it in. We'll try measuring this crown now. Hello, Jesse. Hello. Oh, I think there's just one. There's one load for you there on the crown, and uh, toward this end, I think the crown is is pretty much on grade, or else maybe even a little bit low. So. I don't have a windrow for you down here, so there's kind of just one load there.
turns into a cut of three here. Oh, he's raining them on the ground. Okay, thank you, Rob. Truly, the uh, the crown is only coming in at about uh, two percent on this road. I was roughing it in at three. It's probably only two percent. So the point between the quarter crown and the crown is probably only two percent. There's grade.
now, it's pretty good. One down. I won't even have a window of 
for you. There's a little bit back there. I'm just going to smear it around a little bit. And then I'm just going to kind of uh, shape this crown a little, a little bit with a back blade. If I leave a couple rocks here and there, that big drum should slam them in, eh? Oh yeah, it shot in them. A little bit of a windrow here. I'm gonna take it up to uh, where this fender is on the side of the road and just smear it in there a little bit. This was a cut of, well, it was actually cut of three, but I think it was on a kind of a lump. But uh, I'm gonna cut a little bit out of here at the CB and I'm gonna take it ahead up to the high point. And that should work out pretty good. point is at this fender. And I'm going to backlight this twice. I'm going to backlight it once and uh, uh, quite uh, hard, like quite, uh, quite wide. I'll explain it to you while I'm doing it. Okay, the tie in there, the skid steer will work on the tie in. The first time I backplate it, the first stroke I make. I go quite wide. I go, I go, you know, I, I take the, I take it past the crown. So I, I, it's, it's quite a heavy back blade. The first one is fairly heavy. I'm watching in my mirror to line up properly. Now the first back blade is quite heavy. You see, uh, it's going quite a ways over. My windrow is landing quite a ways over. As I'm doing this, I'm steering with my articulation mostly because uh, you're going to stay in the right spot on the road. Okay, backlighting fairly heavy. You see how the windrow is way over there? There's a high, I just crossed over a high point. Backlighting it fairly heavy. Fairly heavy. And I'm steering as I go. I'm mostly watching in my mirrors to line up. So you want to make sure there's nobody in your way when you're doing this. Just such a very light. You see, my blade is floating around. That's because this is closing 
Thank you for staying till the end of this video and uh, I hope you found it interesting. Would you please subscribe and give me a like or leave a comment. I'd be glad to respond to your comment. We will see you next time.